What is up, everybody? My name is Peter Olson. I'm the artistic athlete here, and I am starting my this this episode of the day in life of a D3 athlete. The day before was actually going to happen. So I'm recording this now just so I don't have to do it early in the morning when I'm all groggy and everything. But tomorrow we are traveling up to Grand Rapids, Michigan, a six-hour bus ride, possibly more, for the Great Lakes Regional Division Three. Regional meet. And eh, I'm not ready for the bus ride. But I am ready for the meet. It's pretty much the last meet of the season because let's be honest that <laughs> we we're not going to the Nationals even though we're going to be working it the 23rd. And yeah, so there's going to be that. And also, I'm also getting some like interviews of everybody throughout the season. Also gonna try to get Noah to do the race video for y'all. So I actually have content to watch of the team racing. So yeah, so I'm gonna go, I just got done, I just got finished packing. As you can see, I have the satchel bag for clothes, this bag for shoes, that bag for a camera I'm gonna be using late tomorrow. I'm just using my phone right now. As you could tell. So yeah, I just got finished packing. I'm gonna get ready for finish up packing up and getting ready for bed and now i'll see y'all tomorrow morning when boarding the bus so see you in the morning have a nice night nice y'all There's that late fuckhead. <laughs> He's not even wearing a boot. Six minutes. Make it now we're gonna be six <laughs> minutes late to the race. Good boy. No.
What is up, everybody? I made it to the hotel in Grand Rapids, Michigan. We were saying the Hilton, yeah, Hilton Inn Express. I am rooming with Devin, and I'm now we're just getting ready to get changed to go on pre run. The course is closed because it closed at 4. It is now like 4 30. And yeah, I'll talk more about the trip up and everything after the run. I'll obviously bring you guys on my run. It'll be cold as hell. Just saying. It's like 30 ish right now. And yeah, I'm gonna get changed and go have a pre run. Free race. Free race day. And then we're gonna hit, go to dinner. Don't know who, where, or whatever. Words. Dango. Back from the run, even though it was upper 30s, it felt like 20. It's just how cold up in the north is. Other than cold up, the run went fine. Now we're just chilling till the till dinner. So yeah, gets a little bit of room for. As you see, this is the bathroom. Not as big or glamorous as the first one. Feels like a little smaller room in the mirror. And dude, we're gonna leave in like 15 minutes. 15 minutes? Yeah, we gotta walk the whole part. Okay, so no shower. <laughs> okay. okay, so I guess we're just heading to where it's going. All the running? Yeah, man. All the See you there. Okay, we just got back from dinner, also meeting, pre-meet meeting with Souter. And now I'm getting ready to head over to the Dane and Will's room for a meeting. Sup, boy? Business, man. Aye, aye. Business. 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 To the business. I thought we already had our business. Nah. No. It's the boys. I'm going to go ask the front desk. Boys like the bar. Sharp. 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 We're not even gonna get top ten, but I'll be damned if we get another. Fuck this. Thirty third. Sorry, man. That's what I'm saying. Last year, though, still got it. Okay. So if they start the two K, honestly, yeah. Should we go up to Souders? That's a no boy. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. Dan's coming. There's one right next to you, man. Devil. <laughs> hey, what, what do y'all think would be better? <laughs> Oh, no, no, no. oh, don't use that use one. the other one. <laughs> yeah, don't use that one. The yeah, that one has a rough time just fucking. Just say you just don't get that. Yeah. Yeah, that one packs a punch. Yeah, that's How'd you go leave the door stopper up? Are you sure? Are you 
Let's try it over there. Good stuff. That was just way funnier. Just just had had the the we had a point. Yeah, let's go. I'ma make a couple stacks, do exactly what I want to. Mix a couple tracks, get a lady that I'm drawn to. Turn up to the max, get me faded till I'm gone, dude. I do what I want, couldn't stop me if you wanted to. I just work hard, yeah, harder than the rest. Some people say I'm lucky, others saying that I'm blessed. But I keep my head down, cause I crave progress. You ain't never gonna stop me, cause it's my conquest. And I'm never gonna rest, yeah. And y'all don't know that I'm a soldier I always felt like I'm a loner When everybody thinks they know ya And y'all don't even know I own ya And now I'm ready taking over Cause every day I'm getting closer Just look at everything I'll show ya And now I'm ready, I'm a blower <laughs> The type to take no for an answer I don't deal with people that are like a cancer No, instead I hang with the people that enhance ya And I'm not the type to give out second chances I just wanna work on my own for myself I don't need no help, not anybody else Nah, man, I got it dealt I'm working on my wealth and I'm working on my health Keep on working to excel cause I'm working on myself Yeah and y'all don't know that I'm a soldier I always felt like I'm a loner When everybody thinks they know ya And y'all don't even know I own ya And now I'm ready taking over Cause every day I'm getting closer Just look at everything I'll show ya And now I'm ready, I'm a blower <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
to run your last cross race ever. Bittersweet, but to end on a good note like that, we all had a blast. It was a good time. All good memories. Okay, this is the day after we got back, and I'm sorry I didn't close out yesterday, but I was just tired, and my phone bought a So, here I am. Uh, yesterday was a pretty good day. Course was terrible. It was just absolutely terrible. The, it was muddy. It was a slosh fest. And there's a giant ass hill. Like, not really a giant, but steep ass hill. With a steep downhill before it. So, best part about it was I got run in snow. And I've not done that in a while. Uh, I pretty much almost tied my 8K PR, even though it's a short course. But I did PR through the 5K. I had a pretty much a 15 second improvement on my 5k so I'm gonna consider that a win so and we had as you saw Kelsey that was her last cross country race ever and then that was also Souter's last day last meet of coaching which is a pretty emotional for pretty much everybody so yeah I would just like to say thank you Souter for coaching everyone me and everyone we had for the past five years past yeah past couple of years so yeah thank you for everything this is peter mcgowan also known as artistic athlete signing out don't forget to like subscribe and share this video with anybody that you think is necessary bye